Okay, where is it?
see here. Ooh, this is a good one. How do I plan who I'm gonna kill? So I start off with the sex offender list and then I'll look at comments and social media, a bunch of shit. I take a lot of things into account and my judgment is never wrong. My intuition is spot on. I know who I'm having for dinner weeks ahead of time. You know, it gives me something to look forward to. And if I can do some good while I'm at it, might as well, right? That's one less rapist, murderer, wife beater, Imagine Dragons fan. It all contributes to the, it all contributes to the betterment of society. And the betterment of my tummy. <laughs> Okay, next question. What size bra do you, okay. Skipping that one. What is the most common question you get? Um, the most common question I get is probably what does blood taste like? Um, this question is mostly asked by people who like want to be a vampire really bad, um, but they just don't know how or they're too scared to do it. Some people even try blood before. Not the same, but to a regular person, they're like, ew, what's the hype? Like they try it, it tastes like what, like copper? Like when you get a nosebleed, nothing special. So I would say to a real vampire, to me, blood tastes sweet, like sweet cranberry juice and like a uh, cupcake, like the best cupcake you've ever eaten in your life. But like, 10 times that. It's so fucking good. Like, like cranberry juice, the best cupcake you've ever eaten in your whole life, and crack. You won't know what blood really tastes like until you need it, you know? Until you need it. Otherwise, you're just fucking weird. Why are you eating blood? Hey, hey, Dante. Hey, man, I fucked up. I, uh, should've told you a couple of weeks ago, I mean, a couple of years ago. Um, she's not dead. She's coming back, man. She's gonna, she's gonna kill you. Sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, get a hold of me. We'll, we'll fucking figure this out together. I got a new weapon. Yeah. All right, man, just get a hold of me. Dave, your idea about getting sunburnt on purpose to repel vampires, uh, it better work or else the sunburn is for nothing. <laughs> that was not my idea. It was, I'm pretty sure you said earlier, like, what if, like, because the vampires are repelled by the rays of the sun, what if you, like, get the rays of the sun in your skin and then the vampire will touch you and it'll, you said something along those lines. I remember you saying it. So I got burnt, like you said, and it sucks. It's very uncomfortable. It's hot enough in this house without any air conditioning, okay? But we've got, I have a, I've got a presentation for you, all right? So Nay had said that Serena's coming after me and that she's gonna suck my blood or whatever. No big deal. It's not, it's honestly, it's not a big deal. It might seem like it is, but it's not. We've done this before. It was so easy last time, I've basically forgotten that I did it. It was like five years ago or something like that, okay? Five years, three months, doesn't make a difference. There are new, wor new world vampires 
and old world vampires. There's a distinct difference between these two things. There's hundreds of different breeds of vampires, but all of them fall into one of these two classes of things. Okay? So, your old world vampires, sunlight, crosses, wooden stakes, garlic in some cases, running water, they have to stop to count seeds. Sometimes they can't even come into places unless you invite them in. There's a bunch of stupid gay rules. But New World Vampires are a bit trickier, and unfortunately I think that that's what we're dealing with here. Or else the magic gun in Princess of Darkness would have killed Serena. Okay, New World Vampires, you're lucky if the sunlight works. You're lucky if the wooden stake works. You gotta really know that you've killed them. So that's examples would be like Underworld, okay? John Carpenter's Vampires, super underrated. Um... What is Dr. Sleep doing in here, Dave? There's vampires in that. In Dr. Sleep, Stephen King's Dr. Sleep has vampires in it. Yeah. Have you seen this movie? Have you? Still scarred by the trauma he endured as a child at the Overlook Hotel, Dan Torrance faces. I don't see nothing about vampires in this movie. Are you talking about her in the movie? This character? Yeah, she's got like one big thing. They're energy vampires. And? Doesn't count. Sunlight, nada. Wooden stakes, no. Nothing. They're, this is not, this does not even be up here. And speaking of which, what the fuck is Ultraviolet doing up here? There's vampires in that too. In what way? Have you seen Ultraviolet? Yeah. No, you haven't. What happens in this movie? Uh, you know, she's got that outfit that changes colors. PG-13 sequences of violent action throughout partial nudity and language. This is not a vampire movie, neither. Okay? Yeah, you didn't hear the part about the government? The government... No. Okay. John Carpenter's Vampires, Kate Beckinsale's Underworld, uh, Thomas Alf Alfredrickson's The Let the Right One In. Those are New World Vampires, okay? They can go in the sunlight on occasion. I don't think Underworld or Vampires they can. But in Vampires, it's wooden stakes of the sunlight. That's it. Serena, I'm pretty sure, can go in sunlight. I think I've got eyewitness accounts of her being in the sun. So sunlight is a non-factor at this point. So she could come in here right now. Okay, but I'm going to hope that she doesn't because Vampires' powers are generally weaker in the sun as evidenced in Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay? Isn't well, that the well, case? you have that up. Because I, it's in the living room or something. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, when he's in the sunlight, his powers are not as powerful. But the sun doesn't kill him. Mm -hmm. I think that we're looking at the same thing with Serena. Wooden stake? Jury is still out on that. Crosses? Holy water? Holy water I put on my bullets last time, and I shot at her. Do you remember me doing that? Yeah. And I don't know if that actually worked or not. I'm pretty sure I hit her, but if I did, it might have hurt. Basically what I'm saying is old world vampires, this would be a lot easier. I could just bathe myself in garlic and holy water. Maybe your stupid sunburn idea would actually work even. Uh, so none of this matters. That doesn't matter. What we need to concern ourselves with is ex basically specifically this movie. Ellie knows that to continue living, she must keep relocating. But when Oscar faces his darkest hour, Ellie returns to defend him the only way she can. Four stars, one of the essential horror films of the decade. What I'm trying to say is that I have a plan. Serena's coming here probably tonight, according to Nayad, and we're gonna make sure that this time we actually really do her in, okay? We're gonna shove a wooden stake right up her vampire ass, all right? We're gonna bathe her in holy water. I've got all kinds of shit cooked up around this house. You think that I'm not prepared. Look at this face, this sunburned fucking face. I thought ahead, okay? Do you smell me? From over there? Yeah. Absolutely. You smell that, what I've got going on? It's garlic. We're, we'll just see how it works out. Are you, uh, are you worried? Am I worried? Yeah. No. Do I look worried to you? I'd, I'd be worried. I'm not worried, Dave. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> God, I hate when that happens.
Okay, okay, bloodsuckers. Today, believe it or not, I have my first sponsor. Vamp, with two Ps, so graciously decided to sponsor me. Um, it stands for... Vampires, what is it? Vampires Anonymous Mass Produced Products. Vamp makes a lot of vampire products, like this blood rotini I'm gonna be eating today. They put a special formula in it or something that makes blood mix with it really well. It's delicious, nutritious, and superstitious. Use discount code SUCK for 10% off of your first purchase at VAMP. At VAMP with two P's dot com. So anyways, back to making this pasta. Great pour. Mmm, so yummy. Vamp. Mm. I don't think I should put the whole pan. <laughs> we should just order food. Mmm. Really good. Thank you again, Vamp, for the really yummy good pasta. Bye guys! Hey bloodsuckers! Today is a big day and I'm just gonna give it to you straight. Today, I am finally killing Dante Graves. Um, what else? <laughs> I don't know. It's the 4th of July, uh, America's birthday. Um, I picked today because there might be gunshots. As we know, Dante loves shooting things and people in the head. So nobody would call the cops because it just sounds like a firework, right? I, I personally don't like guns. I like swords. I don't know how to pull it out smoothly. So I brought my own little sword and I almost forgot something. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. Think I'm fucking stupid, Serena? You fall right in my trap. about looking stupid?
She ain't even gonna know what hit her. It's Dante. Okay, I've just been bitten by a vampire, and I'm really freaking out. It feels really weird. I don't know what to do. Uh, like right now? <sighs> yes, like right now. Like, I don't know, five minutes ago. All right. Don't panic. I need you to go find a sink. <sighs> okay, I'm going, I'm going. <sighs> I gotta... All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. All right. You gotta pour the holy water on the bite wound. That will clean out the poison like a snake bite. Oh, by the way, it's gonna burn like hell. Make sure you keep pouring it on, no matter how bad it hurts. Then wrap it up and come see me. Damn it. 
So good to see you. All right, I would like to stay and chat, but a vampire broke into my fucking house tonight and bit me. I want to know where she lives so I can shove a stake up her vampire ass and fucking kill her for real. Before I find out all that stuff, I want you to tell me why that gun didn't kill her last time. What the fuck is up with that? First, you shouldn't be stealing my gun. I didn't. Barry that was, did. that was the pistol of Garth and Ox. You stole it. You said it was pistol of San Vengaza that kills vampires. Yeah, but you stole the wrong one. What does the gar pistol of Garth and Ox do? That's the one that kills the vampires. No, Pistol San Vengaza, you said kills vampires. Oh, I did? What gun did I steal? You said Pistol of Garth, and I don't know what the fuck that is. What does that do? It's a demonic it's slayer of it a It kills weapon. demons? It kills demons. Where does Serena live? That's all I want to know, and I'll get the fuck out of here. No, you you, you want to kill her. She's... I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. That's she's the whole a, point. You're a fucking vampire. Yeah, but she's thing. cool now. You've got holy water in a... Cain that does something, I'm sure. She's she's part of the society now. She's really good. She's a good person. You're just gonna go over there and kill her now. Where the fuck is this coming from? Mr. fucking Vampire Slayer, Nayed Moonchild, whatever the fuck. Yeah, but and she's not a bad vampire, okay? She's not she, a bad uh, she, so, uh, uh, you forget about this? Yeah, she, you know, people change. You know, I've I've become a man, you know, myself. I got Cool stuff, like you know, I'm I'm getting I'm leveling up. If myself. you've only got, I'm leveling up. There's a third pocket here for where holy water was. You I, killed a vampire no, with I, it. I lost this one, man. So what? you haven't done any of this. This is empty. So you're telling me, I shouldn't kill this vampire, even after she broke into my house and tried to kill me because why? Because she's got a YouTube channel now. She's amazing in society now. I I should have told you this. Years ago, but I didn't. Years ago. I, dude, I'm a busy person, okay? I'm a musician. A level designer, for God's sakes. And I, I know a little bit about vampires. I don't I don't kill her, because why? Because she has a YouTube channel? You want me to look into that? You think that she's... That what? doesn't fucking matter anymore, but I would... Don't go killing her. Like, I'm not going to tell you where she lives. Okay. What the fuck? What she comes to try to kill me again? What then? Understanding begins, but does not end with the act of perception. Know thy enemy, and be friends with thy enemy. Something like that, right? Who the fuck, what philosopher said that? I did. I did! Okay, so you're saying that you'll tell me where she lives if I promise to go there and be friends? Be friends with the lady. The lady now, okay? You got this. Be friends with them. They what, might? what changed, man? used to be a vampire slayer. I'm trying to make a, this world a better place. Look at the stars. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. There's a UFO over there, I think. UFO. All right, fine, fuck it, man. I've been trying to be a better person the last few years. I'm gonna take your word for this, okay? I'm gonna follow your lead. I'm gonna go to the vampire's house. I'm gonna fucking say sorry for trying to not die, all right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna make amends. I'm gonna turn the enemy into a friend. Good. Okay? Good. I promise. All right. Oh shit. Ooh. God damn it. Ooh. Fuck. Good for the soul. <laughs> Tell me where the vampire lives. All right. Promise not to 
Do I it. promise, okay. I promise. I'll my, cross my heart, hope to die. She lives in studio apartments, east side of town, room 403. Okay. I'm not gonna let you down. Fist right. bump this time? Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. I'll get back to you, I promise I will. All right. Watch out for snakes. Oh, and by the way, make sure to change that tape. By the hour, it might get infected. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I want to know where Serena lives, and you're going to tell me. Dread it. Hide from it. It comes nonetheless. single weapon with me, I'm gonna be honest with you. To meet with a vampire. Today she's a misunderstood creature, okay? We're trying to have a conversation, not a fight, all right? Here we go. I'm nervous. guy for sure I'll give you that but I have killed guys that make you look like the fucking gay skeleton from scary godmother ah yes the mouth they were right about you all right then bonehead let's fucking go
Do different kills taste different? This one's good. So, yes. A well-selected kill tastes the best, like sweet like a cupcake. Uh, last minute kill is like saltier, like less rewarding, like if you undercook the pasta, like that. I know some vampires that actually prefer that, but to me, it tastes like shit. But the worst are the desperation kills. They taste like death. death. stupid skeleton back together, I guess we're even. I'm just gonna say this, and I hope you get the point. Don't be so afraid of losing something that you push it away. We'll see you around. Serena.
bloodsuckers, it's me again, and I guess I have no choice but to talk about Dante. Still alive Dante. So, about Dante, it's kind of embarrassing. I, and I, I don't know how to explain what happened, so I'm not gonna try, but when I bit into him, let's just say I realized that I was being selfish. I was operating on revenge, seeking revenge for myself. And I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to be selfish. I, I, I want to help people. I hurt people who deserve it. And Dante is an all right guy. He sucks a little bit, but he's all right. And I don't kill all right guys, but that guy, See that guy? He eats babies. So, bye guys! Just uh, make sure we got some good contact here. Put my elbow where- You really need to just hit me, honestly. At least once. Like... <sighs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> like that. Once. Once. One, one really good one. And make sure you get it. With yeah. this part of my arm, put your face to where you're not gonna get hurt. Okay. Once, that's it. That's it. And if I actually hurt you, I you cannot say anything about it. Okay. Ready? Should we start up here or down or what? Here? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and... Action. Uh, could you do me a favor? Mm. That tenth shot hit me for real in the forehead. Good. Okay? Yeah. Maybe th sprinkle a couple real ones in there, just, just like... <sighs> Ready? And really do it, okay? <sighs> you can do better than that. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> one more time. Really good. <sighs> okay, do one more of those really good ones, right here. Okay? You good? Yeah. Okay. Do it. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to swallow it. That was a good take though. Was it good? We don't even have to do it again, it's so good. Leave that blood I on your I don't think face. you're supposed to swallow it. You definitely are not, because I swallowed some and I don't feel good. <laughs> Am I gonna die? No, you won't die. It's Look like... on the bottle. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's not mm. not good. Zesty mint flavored stage blood authentically stimulates fresh blood and is safe for use in mouth. That's all it says. Is he lying? Uh, no, I just I just read it to you. Wait, caution. Keep out of reach of children. Do not use in eyes. Discontinue use if irritation occurs. May stain some fabrics. Attention, garter, horse. Oh, that's in Spanish. <laughs> Um, apply with brush or spatula to stimulate cuts, abrasions, and dripping blood. Remove with I'm gonna have to make myself throw up.